Hello and welcome back. Today, remember, never, never, never chuck anything away. I got this piece of Perspex out of a skip at work and it was protecting some windows from vandals smashing them. But it seemed a pity to throw it away. So I've got a good use for this. So next time you see it, well. Because I want to make a chip guard for the milling machine. I do have the factory chip guard as you can see but it's no good when I'm using the 4 inch fly cutter and basically when that's going it's like a snow blizzard in here so the, this piece I've cut off I'm going to mount it so it slides up and down and I'll see if I can bend the edges around now I had a go at bending a piece before with a blow lamp but I didn't turn out too good so I'm going to try it with I've got a Black & Decker kitchen record, my friend Simon calls them, a heat gun. I'm going to put that in the folding jars and see if I can bend it. You best not apply the heat in one space for too long because the, the plastic goes discolored and goes a milky colour. It doesn't really matter really for what I'm doing. I'll try to do the best job I can. This may take a while. And that'll do it's quite hot. Bending the plastic with the heat gun has turned out better than expected. So I'm happy with that. The next job is I've now got to cut some slots into the perspex. So when it's mounted into the milling machine, it can slide up and down depending on what the height the cutting head is. So let's get on with that. The chip guard for the milling machine now needs a groove cutting in it. It's too wide to drill the milling machine unfortunately, so I'm having to do it in the drill press. I'm just going to peck some holes in it along it and then finish it off with a file. So let's get on with that. One thing you've got to do with the drill press is make sure you hold the work down, otherwise it can spin around and set your bloody hand off. Well look your hand anyway. Oh dear. The aluminium bar is now cut and ready to be mounted onto the milling machine and it's just a simple case of transferring the holes in the body across and drilling on the drill press for that. What's not easy is the Chinese have decided to use some kind of obsolete thread size. I don't know what it is but it's not an M. It might be a Whitworth. I don't know if you can see it though. The focus is. There we go, it's quite coarse. So I'm going to re-tap the head to take an M8 bolt. Not a big deal, just slow me down 10 minutes. You always get a tapping segment on my videos anyway. <laughs> Enough of that. 
The slots have now been finished in the milling chip guard using the drill and the flat file to get it nice and smooth and it's worked out quite well as you can see. The next job is mounting the guard to the milling machine head. So using this piece of aluminium bar which I showed you earlier but off camera I've added a nut and bolt to it each side and that's basically what the plastic slides up and down on. So I'm going to mount this to the head of the mill now. So it's quite boring this bit so I have to excuse me. Feel free to scratch your ass. No I would. Well I won't scratch your ass so scratch me on. Using this massive spanner because I can't find my 10mm one because it's somewhere in the workshop I'm going to tighten it up. I have been bought some spanners for my birthday but I can't get them until Thursday. It's quite upsetting that. So I have to use this thing. That is now done. I can now hang the chip guard onto the two threaded sections as you can see and you can see the action of it now. It's pretty simple really. Pretty straightforward. Add in a few washers and these nailed knots are made on the Colchester. I love these. I made about 20 of these now. I can't make enough of them. I attach the plastic to the mill head. And there you go, quite an easy job really, pretty straightforward, I'll catch three quarters of the chips flying off, I may have add another portion to the bottom of it, I think I will, so it goes right down to the bed, but that'll be another project, basically the same as what I've done there. So thanks for viewing, oh, hold on a minute, there's one more thing to show you. While I was cutting plastic, I thought it was a good idea to make one for the lathe as well. And I've seen these on eBay. And basically they just attach their magnetic stands. I'm not keen on these serpent magnetic stands, these hydraulic ones, because they can collapse under vibration. So I wouldn't use it as a chip guard as such. This is just showing it as an example. I am going to get uh, just a normal one with the, with the two bars on it. Or perhaps even make one. But it's one of the easiest things I've made in the workshop. And all it is, you can see it is a piece of plastic with a bolt through it you can't get any simpler than that so there you go thanks for viewing